of us have seen the recent football injury that brought the NFL to a stop. Players standing around watching one of their brothers lay lifeless on the ground. Many of them didn't know what to do, and the commentators were left speechless. All anyone knew was that it was out of their control. I saw two teams at a loss for words kneeling together on the field in prayer. Players, coaches, and trainers who may not have talked to the Lord in a long time coming to Him and asking for healing. Many watching, including myself, saying prayers for him as well, asking Jesus to do what only he can do. And praise Jesus, he was revived and is now out of the hospital getting better every passing day. The NFL's most watched Monday night football game of all time was a televised miracle. This young man was revived and is being healed by the name of Jesus just as we had prayed for. Anyone who saw what happened that night saw a prayer answered before their eyes. God uses scenarios like this to bring us closer to Him and to reveal Himself to those who have not made the decision to follow Jesus. As we prayed for this young man, we drew closer to Jesus, and it shows us that He wants us to rely on Him for everything, not just the things we think are out of our control. Another thing to keep in mind is this world is quick to praise the training staff for their efforts in providing aid to Him, but they quickly forget the healing we all prayed for. They forget that life comes from the Father as he laid their lifeless on the field. All the major networks are making the trainer out to be the reason Mr. Hamlin survived and not saying a thing about the answered prayer and healing we all witnessed. The trainer administering CPR was a tool the Lord used, but I assure you the trainer did not breathe life back into DeMar Hamlin. The Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus did. So let us not praise the trainers for their actions, but instead praise the Lord for giving life back to him. Damar, I hope you know and understand the miracle the Lord blessed you with that day, and I pray you would use it as an opportunity to advance the gospel in your future career. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more Fishing with a Mission.